You used to see 200k players online, now it's barely 20k. You used to be able to walk up to someone in the halls and start a friendship where you go to classes together, but now everyone is barely interacting. Even though parts of the much anticipated new school were released, what happened? And will Raw High ever make a comeback? Though there are many reasons for this, today I'm gonna talk about three. Stay tuned because at the end, we'll discuss ways to revive the community we once loved. First, the overprioritization of aesthetics and underprioritization of gameplay. The community was frustrated when the new school was always teased but not delivered for four years. There were a lot of beautiful sneak peeks, but no clear date. This impatience left people very strained until the developers finally released some parts of the beautiful campus. When you step in, indeed, it looks great. The only problem? The developers didn't value the core parts of gameplay and player retention as much as the aesthetic of the campus. As a redditor commented, It's pretty, but pretty much nothing else. It's kind of a common game dev blunder to focus on the looks before thinking of how it'll actually play okay. In previous campuses, Roleplay elements provided structure that retained players for hours as they were able to make friends and create their own stories. Even if the campus was not as beautiful, many memories were formed. However, this is virtually missing in the new campus. For example, there is no cafeteria where everyone can congregate at a certain time of the day, and there are no classes either. This makes it really hard to find people to do activities together. As a result, player retention is dropping, and people are looking for new roleplay games. Second, the diamond gating of everything. It's now feeling increasingly difficult for new players to onboard to the game and have fun because many things are diamond gated. Without even roleplay elements, as previously mentioned, there are less fun free things for new players to do. A prominent example of this is decorating and hanging out in your dorm. It can feel like you need to spend for every little thing. What would help are more gameplay elements like getting jobs in the school to help people get diamonds, which would also help with the roleplay experience. As Roblox players are also aging out and the game becomes less fun if you don't have a lot of diamonds, it's hard for new players to stay around. Third, the ripple effect of content creators leaving. With updates being delayed and smaller updates feeling repetitive, Royal High content creators started running out of fresh ideas as the scenes stayed the same. The amount of roleplay content in general went down, which I saw affect a lot of the roleplay YouTubers I loved watching. However, usually for a healthy community, content creators need to consistently post innovative content that inspires other creators to start, which then inspires others, and so on. However, I'm optimistic about there being a new wave of creators as more parts of the school are released. By the way, this video was edited with a Discord bot that we made. All you need to do is upload your video and the bot will add subtitles, emotes, sound effects, and more. We wanted to help old and new creators save time, not burn out, and get started growing their channels. So try it today at discord.gg slash oneclickvideo. So now let's talk about how we can address these as a community. The devs might be experiencing some burnout and it's important that we voice our concerns with respect and kindness instead of anger. We can assure the developers that we're okay with having less perfectionist releases so they can feel more confident with releasing features without going overboard on every little part of the aesthetic. We can also propose concepts like in-game jobs to the developers to help newer players with diamonds. When inside the game, we should be more open to socializing and welcoming newer players, even if the structures aren't set in place in the game to do that. Finally, and what I believe we have the most agency with, is supporting content creators and even becoming creators ourselves. With the new campus released, we can come up with new video concepts that help people rediscover their love for Royal High. There are many tools to help you get started even if you're not a creator today. So through discussing these three issues in Royal High today, I hope we can foster a supportive and creative environment and once again see the healthy and vibrant community we knew and loved on Royal High.